Christina Bevington and on behalf of Europe Direct and Fingal County Libraries I'm delighted to welcome you all here to Blanchardstown Library for the Europe Direct Soapbox Competition. I'd like to extend a special welcome to Annette Kelly, Assistant Director of the Library Council. The Library Council has coordinated this event between all of the Irish Europe Direct Centres. I must thank MEP Joe Higgins, he has provided a most fantastic prize of a trip to Brussels. And the, and the European Commission has provided a prize of an iPad, another fantastic prize. Thank you very much, Enid, and uh, I would like to extend Kiev uh, Mila Falter to everybody uh, who have come here tonight, uh, including people from outside of, uh, uh, of uh, Greater Blanchestown. Now, I'm, as Enid says, I'm a member of the European Parliament since uh, June of uh, last year. I'm very privileged to represent the people of uh, Dublin in that institution and have uh, endeavoured to fight in the interests of the ordinary people that I seek to uh, represent in that time. Uh, some of you might know previous to that I was 10 years in Dáil Éireann and uh, I then broke the heart of former Taoiseach Bertie Hearn by losing my seat which means he couldn't look across the floor at me anymore. Um, now, without uh, further ado, I just want to introduce the event uh, tonight. Uh, Europe Direct Centres uh, uh, have organised to run this national event that has highlighted the importance of climate change as, as it pertains to the European Union and vice versa. And the soapbox competition of uh, debate was chosen as a, an event that gives people from all walks of life the opportunity to speak about wind, en wind energy in this particular uh, case. The uh, winner will get the iPad trip to Brussels and also a chance to win a prize of €1,000 in the national final, though I know it's concern for the environment that's driving the competitors, not the money <laughs> and, and, and not the trip to, uh, to Brussels. Our two distinguished uh, judges uh, we have John Kilcoyne, who is a lecturer in the Institute of T Technology Blanchard Sound, and lectures on their Bachelor of Science in Sustainable Electrical and Control Technology program, covering the areas of renewable energy, such as wind uh, turbines, photovoltaic solar panels, etc. And our second distinguished judge is Luan Kent, originally from the United States of uh, America, living in Ireland for the past nine years seven of which she has been a member of Toastmasters, which of course is a worldwide non-profit educational organization that helps its members from all walks of life to improve their communication, public speaking and leadership skills. And God knows do we want leadership skills in this country at the present time. <laughs> so uh, can I ask you to, uh, just as a gesture of goodwill, to welcome the judges and the competitors before we start. So good evening everybody, my name is Alessia Riccardi and I'm very delighted to be here because people like me can have a, at least the opportunity to speak about this prominent issue and uh, the debate here would be very interesting, especially because authorities are more involved on the environment and actually not only for return for, um, for cost effectiveness or return of investment but because of the environment as well. My work, unfortunately, we are focusing on global warming and so on. So the fewer resources that are left on the planet are um, a concern for us. For this reason, I think that actually the wind farms and the wind energy are part of uh, our future. It's not a blot on the, lands blot on the landscape. I think it's important to consider that we can massively reduce the carbon footprint. And actually, in all uh, companies I work for, I be considered about uh, the, the color to, to have, you know, the wind uh, uh, turbines or blades, for example, can be in the blue and green, depending on the... We can do here, we can uh, promote this for a better life for ourselves and for the planet as well. Thank you. Thank you. Today, nuclear renewable energy, including wind energy, is seen as a viable alternative to both fossil fuel and nuclear power. Wind energy is a freely available energy source that has been around for millions of years and will be around for a long time after we are gone. It poses no harmful uh, risk to human health, unlike fossil fuel or nuclear energy. Climate change is a major environmental issue that faces us today. 
and wind energy has no detrimental effect on our climate. It is a little known fact that the generation of electricity from fossil fuels and nuclear energy requires vast amounts of fresh water. Now fresh water is a scarce resort on our planet today. A coal generating station, for example, requires 1,000 litres of water to generate one megawatt of electricity. A wind turbine, a one megawatt wind turbine by comparison requires no fresh water whatsoever. In our world by the use of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels like coal, oil or gas when burned are releasing carbon dioxide or sulfur dioxide. These have many defects such as they are putting a hole into the ozone. This is causing many defects in the human nature as well. For example, it is, it is, it is causing skin cancer to many people. There is one market that since 1990 hasn't had a property bubble, a confidence crisis or an implosion in confidence. Not only has the market in wind energy doubled every year, but it has done so with a net negative carbon impact. I'm here tonight to tell you why wind energy is a future and far from a blot in the landscape. NIMBYism or not in my backyard syndrome, we witness all around us the, the Gulf oil spill, the, the Exxon Valdez disaster, the beached whales, the not so coral coral reef, even more of an eyesore. Why are we putting up all these stop signs for such shallow and petty reasons? Wind farms use no fuel and emit no air pollutants. This is the only planet we have and we need to take a better care of it. Better care of it. Wind energy is only one piece of the jigsaw. 160 billion watts of energy every year in 80 different countries can't be wrong.